Good morning, Storm fans. I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing Slow Belcher. This is a donation deck from Sean Dagnan, who submitted this, and it's actually a Tony Scaponi creation. We're going to play it today. Sean made a couple changes to the sideboard, featuring two Machine Over Matter, which says it costs one less if you control an artifact creature as an instant, and you can bounce a non-land permanent. So, essentially, Void Snare for one mana at instant speed as long as you control an artifact creature. And I'm going to address the elephant in the room. My voice is a little bit shot today. I went and saw the Menzingers last night. And uh, we're going to make it through. I think my voice will hold up. But just in case it doesn't, there's my excuse. Okay, so this is not a turn one Belcher deck. This is a slow Belcher deck, as you can see in the deck name. Yes, we have Goblin Char Belcher. We have Lion's Eye Diamonds. But we're also a Force of Will... Thought Monitor, Thought Cast deck. So we're looking to cast Goblin Charbelcher the hard way. We're not really looking to play a Seething Song, activate in one turn. So a little bit more of a controlling combo deck here today, abusing some of the eight cast um, technology here between Thought Monitor, Thought Cast, and all of the bobbles. So once again, thank you to Sean for submitting this wonderful donation deck. And Sean gets to do that every single month for completely free because Sean is a member of the Combo Cabal tier here on this YouTube channel. You want to do the same? You want to see decks every single month? That's the easiest way to do it while getting tons of sweet other perks. Go check that out. Um, but that's what I've got to say. I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks that's enough for now let's play some magic welcome to the first match we are on the play okay so here it's a little bit odd because we have the bobbles we have a couple lands i think i'm going to keep but once again this is not a blazing fast belcher deck the weird thing about brainstorm in this deck is we don't have shuffle effects so i'm not sure if this is actually the right card for this strategy no shade at tony scaponi uh it's just that I don't think we're actually using the full potential. Like, I actually think that something like, uh, I don't know, uh, Preordain might be better. And I hate Preordain. I think that card stinks, especially in an era with the London Mulligan. All right, we're going to play this tapped past the turn. In their upkeep, we will activate Mishra's Bobble and look at their top card. It's the Seat of the Synod. So it looks like it's possibly an eight-cast Pseudomir. Chalice of the Void on zero. That's awkward. Okay. If they are on eight cast, that was a really dangerous move for them. Okay, they're not eight cast. I don't know what they're doing. Thought monitor into Shatter Skull Smashing. Let's attempt a brainstorm. We did not hit another blue land, but we can use Ponder to clear. Play the Shatter Skull. I mean, obviously hitting the Belcher was good. Maybe I should have hid the Belcher on top. We saw a black, so they could have discard. The needle here is awkward because they could get a needle. Did I say needle? The Urza Saga here is awkward because they could get a needle. So I think I'm supposed to hide the Belcher until we can, after the Saga pops. We have to shuffle this even though I want the Force of Will. Volcanic Island. Not bad. Okay. We will pass the turn. They use the spell bomb to draw a card. All right, Saga goes to its second chapter. Vault of Whispers. Like to see a Force of Will here. Not quite. We'll play C8 Restoration and then pass the turn. So you might be saying, Bryant, why not play out the Goblin Charbelcher? This Urza Saga is going to go to its third chapter. And when it does, they can get a needle. And that means we can't win. So why show them that information? Okay. Shadow Spear. And another Saga. So they're attacking for six. They actually have lethal next turn, assuming they have another artifact, and they do because of the Saga. Hmm. Okay, so we want to draw, like, Iconoclast here. We did not. I wonder if I'm even supposed to show them 
the Belcher if I'm just dead. I'm going to concede. So, I could play out Belcher. Our opponent has lethal on board. And I think giving them the information that I have Belcher in my deck is kind of silly. So instead, we're just going to go to game two. We want the machine over matter. Likely want the force of negation for those chalices. And I kind of like the Kappa Cannoneer here as well. Actually, if they're going to chalice here, I don't know. I don't like Brainstorm, so I'm going to get rid of that. I think that card is not for this deck. We have literal zero shuffle effects other than Emery to clear Brainstorm. I think Brainstorm is like kind of a miss here. Yeah, I think this deck would actually be better if it had a fourth bobble and a fourth thought knot than playing Brainstorm. All right, I think I'm not going to board in the Turtles. There's just not room. So we're going to resubmit with this. On the play. Um, Sure, I guess. I don't know what hands you're allowed to keep with this deck. Volcanic Island into Ponder. Okay, that's not bad. So we're going to hold the artifacts, even though our opponent's a Chalice deck. Because next turn we can turn those artifacts into 1-1s. One Wasteland? What? That doesn't make any sense. Sure. Lotus Petal? Sure. Player Seagate, and we will pass the turn. Urza's Saga. Okay. Ouch. So we're going to go to 17. We're going to play the third cast, third path iconoclast. That's a tough word to say or tough name to say. All right. So we're going to play our spells into Chalice of the Void, which is a hot topic among casual players because they view it as cheating and it is not cheating. You are allowed to play your spells into known triggers. It is up to your opponent to remember their triggers because there is value to be had like this, or maybe your opponent's just a dummy and they forget their triggers and then your spells resolve. Okay. So they have an active saga. So if I swing in with our third path, we get punished. Um, I am one short of playing the thought monitor here. We will pass the turn. They make a construct and now they cannot make another construct here. They grab a Mox Opal. Ancient Tomb. Four mana. For an Armix. Okay. So if you don't play CDH, you might not know what this is. It's a two and a black for a Golem. Three, two. Whenever it attacks, you can discard a card. And then uh, target defending player's creature gets minus X minus X, where X is the number of artifacts you have in playing graveyard. Into Thought Monitor. Sure. We're not blocking. Okay. We're at 11. We're not blocking because if I draw something that... Well, that doesn't do it. All right, well, now I am on chump blocking duty. And the Armix here is actually going to kill my uh, artifact maker. So I think we're likely to lose this game unless I very quickly draw into land number four to hardcast this Belcher. And they need to not have anything to fight back. They discarded... An ancient tomb we're going to lose one of our iconoclasts and i think i'm going to just trade here okay can i draw land four draw no play the emery lurker of the lock we mill four our next card was a force of will and then the fourth land we have zero artifacts that we can replay for value at the moment because of this chalice. They have a second Armex. Okay. Very weird deck. We will block. Draw for turn. It's a bobble. I don't think that does anything for us. And we can't replay anything out of the graveyard. I guess we pass and die. Um, I mean, we're not actually dead this turn, but... We, our outs have been eliminated. We've lost this game. They discard another copy of Ancient Tomb. They kill our Emery. We go to blocks. We'll block the 7-7. Seven, seven, and then we're done for. And that does it. So we are 0-1.
Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number two, we're on the draw, and well, this hand doesn't do anything. Lion's Eye Diamond doesn't actually do a whole lot with this deck. It's pretty much only good for activating Goblin Charbelcher. And I mean, we have Force of Will, but we don't even have a single mana to play Emery. We need a mulligan into a bad hand. Okay, we're going to five. Uh, I guess so. I don't love this, but I'm not sure what else we're supposed to do here. I could bottom the Shatter Skull to ensure that I can force Will to protect my Emery, so that way we can dig ourselves back in. I think that's probably the move. And our opponent just skipped their first turn. Okay. Sure. I mean, it's probably what I need to win this game. And another bobble. I'll take it. So I actually could have played the Emery even without drawing the bobble. Because you announce your spell and then you pay cost and I would have had two artifacts in play. It's a weird rule within the game, but it does work. And it looks like they're on reanimator. Yikes. And they have grief reanimate. We're in trouble. Okay. And they went straight to discard again. What to do here? I don't know. I think we get back Bobble. So we'll do that. Chrome Mox. Imprint. I'm not allowed to imprint Thought Knot because it's an artifact. Imprint the Thought Cast, I guess. Ponder. This doesn't do anything meaningful, so we'll shuffle. Look at their top card. Another Grief. So they have double Grief Protected Gristle Brand on their turn. Okay. They have grief. Yep. Dark Ritual. Reanimate on Gristlebrand, floating two black. They draw seven down to five life. They play a Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. I mean, our deck's not capable of winning from here. Grief. Ouch. Our kind of cruelty to clear my board. Is that what's coming next here? And it is, in fact, our kind of cruelty. Lovely. So we lose our Emery and our Bobble. Our opponent skipped two turns and we still got demolished. Okay, well, we're going to go to the next one. That was brutal. So we do have some Surgicals in the sideboard. Those will help out here. We probably want the Fluster Storm, the Force of Negation. I don't think Machine Over Matter does anything meaningful, so I don't think we want to board that in. We're at 65 cards at the moment. Once again, Brainstorm just doesn't make sense in this deck, so we're going to board that out. I know that, like, if you watch, Tony might have recorded this or streamed it. Tony probably kept in Brainstorm. Uh, I am boarding it out. I think it's just, like, and uh, you're trying to fit a round peg into a square hole. Like, it just doesn't make sense here. We're at 61. Maybe board out one Emery. And I think I'm okay with that because, like, Emery is a card that rewards the grind plan. We're not trying to play a grind plan. Resubmit. Game two on the play. Sure. Keep. We'll play a Seagate. Mox Opal. Lotus Petal. The Lion's Eye Diamond. Bobble. Emery. Force of Will, two Thought Casts, and a Diamond. And I'm choosing to not Bobble on my own turn to draw a card because we have the Fluster Storm. Ancient Tomb, what? That doesn't make any sense. What's going on today? Grief pitches thought sees. So my fluster storm was not good enough against their grief opening hand. Okay, we'll draw a card off the Mishra's bobble. We draw the iconoclast. Okay. Belcher. Uh I am a single mana short of winning with Belcher here. Oh no. Uh I have it. I have it. We'll sack the pedal. Replay pedal. Sacrifice Goblin Char Belcher. And then we activate, target them, and hope to not hit. Well, they're not even going to give us the chance. All right, we'll see if uh, how much it would have done. 
Okay, it would have been lethal. The only two lands in her deck are volcanic, so that would have done it. All right, we got a game. We got a game. We are on the scoreboard. Let's resubmit. No force of will, no surgicals. I mean, it's turn one thought cast, but I don't think that's good enough. They mulligan to six. Yeah, we need something more interactive. This is not it. The five. Sand is bad. Should we go to four? They've gone to five as well. The four. I guess we have force of will. Get rid of the emery. A shatter skull. Thought cast. Looted delta. Into grief. Force of will down. So one of the things about the reanimator deck is that they play four on mask, four grief, four thought seize. So that first hand that I kept would have also lost to this grief. They have one card in hand. If we get lucky and draw some lands, maybe this iconoclast can do some damage. Our kind of cruelty. Thought seize. Okay, well that's no longer an option. They swing for three, we go to seventeen. We'll draw off the bobble. Okay, pass the turn. Swing three again, we go to 14. Thought monitor, we are so far away. Ouch, we go to 11. Lotus petal. So I believe we can cast this. We can. Okay, draw two. Play the Shatter Skull. Pass. They have found land two, I don't like that. They swing, we'll go to eight. Draw for turn. It's Volcanic Island. Does that do it? I need one more mana. That's a bummer. We have to pass. We don't have a whole lot of time against this grief. We're going to five. Okay. They have three cards, one of which is an Archon of Cruelty. And Tomb for another Archon of Cruelty. And that's going to beat me. Okay, we are zero and two. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting your own magic events with features such as easy to create event registration for four player and one on one Swiss based games. Event management has never been so simple and it's done on the web, no downloads are required. You can sign up for $5 by visiting eminence.events slash subscribe. Let's try it again. Match number three, we're on the play. We have a Belcher, that's good. Uh. I think we're supposed to keep this? I'm not even really sure. Okay, so I think we just play a Mishra's Bobble. Look at their top card. Let's see some info. Basic planes. Okay. Likely means like death and taxes shape things. I'm going to play out some zeros just in case that they're on a chalice stack. I'm going to imprint the Iconoclast because I'm viewing Thought Monitor as a pitch card. I don't think we're actually going to get to cast it. Draw off the bobble. Another third path iconoclast. I don't think we want to play it against the plains deck. Plus, ooh, portable hole. Well, they're on a brew. Let's get rid of... We're going to counter this for sure. Uh, I think we keep the thought monitor in case we draw a bunch of zeros this game. I don't know. Brainstorm. Awkward. And... Yeah, awkward is it. Okay, like I mentioned, I'm going to play out the zeros to avoid Chalice. Land number two. Main deck Cannonist, okay. I should have drawn the Belcher this turn. It doesn't really make a huge difference, I suppose. So this would cost three. I'd draw the Belcher and one other random card, but then I'd lose my ability to cast Belcher on the following turn. I'm not really sure what they're playing here. Like, this is some sort of weird brew. Could be, like, hammer time, I guess. Stoneforge Mystic, you've got it. They pick up a Cauldra. We will now play our Goblin Charbelcher. And hopefully we draw mana next turn. Ingenious Smith, so this is definitely hammer time. They pick up another copy of Main Deck Aether Sworn Canonist. Ancient Den... They activate the Stone Forge, putting in the Cauldra, and now they can swing for seven, which means that our opponent has lethal on board, so we have one turn to draw that mana to activate the Goblin Charbelcher. And is it it? It is not. 
So we are dead on board. They have lethal. Sure, why not? They swing out and we're done -zo. Okay, so that's game number one. Let's see what we can do about these post board games. Probably want the lightning bolts. The machine over matter makes a lot of sense. Goodbye, brainstorm. And I wonder how good Force of Will actually is in this matchup, but it's probably fine. Thought monitor might be tough to cast against such an aggro deck. We can try this out on the play. So it's a th turn one third path. I think that's probably good enough. All right, turn one Seagate Restoration. Ouch. Play the Chrome Mox. Imprint the Shatter Skull. Play the third path. Urza's Bobble. Okay, and then Chrome Mox just for the 1-1. One, one. No, I would not like to imprint. Grindstone. Okay. So they boarded into Painter combo, sure. Little Oswald Fiddlebender combo. Bot cast. The Diamond. We'll play Diamond. Make another 1-1. One, one. Let's Thought Cast. Ouch. Play the Emery. And there's the Belcher. Swing for four. So I think we're a mana short right now if Belcher win next turn. We have three mana in play. I can replay the Belcher, but I'd have to sacrifice the Lion's Eye Diamond. And if I do that, I'm one short of activating. Painter Servant. So I actually need to draw the land here in order to win. Draw for turn. Bobble, that doesn't do it. So I'm just trying to think of my outs here. Drawing one of the other two lightning bolts. I can only play one artifact, so... I mean, one artifact off Emery. I think I just have to try to draw into the other bolt. Or hope that they don't have land three. Target them. Oswald Fiddlebender, I called it. Target them. They do have land three already. Okay, swing for four. We'll pass the turn. Actually, uh, Machine Over Matter would buy us a turn as well. So I have four outs, and I did not draw them. That'll do. That'll do. We're zero and three. Ouch. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four. Let's get a win. We're on the draw, and I will keep. This hand has forcible, but no blue card, and it has four mana, which means that eventually we can cast this Goblin Charbelcher. Bayou? A noble Hierarch, so they're on the Newton Elves list, or I use Elves with air quotes there, but you know what I mean. And there's our blue card. Perfect. It's also the third mana for next turn if we don't have to force something, so big fan. Okay. Turn one, Belcher. Pass the turn. Wooded Foothills into Bayou. Well, we have to force it will this, because it's going to get Collector Roof, and then we can't win, so... We have temporarily lost our third mana source. Mana. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Target them. Volcanic Island. Lovely. Jeez. Jeez. Come on. Misty Rainforest. Four mana for a natural order. Let's getting collector roof. Alright, I'm going to concede to that. That was miserable. Okay. Lightning Bolt in. Machine over matter. We can probably get rid of the forces. They are a 4x um, Allosaurus Shepherd deck. So I don't think force is actually good in the matchup. That brings us to 62. This is a really fast matchup as well. So I don't love Thought Monitor. One reason to keep the forces in is that they're often a force of vigor times three or four deck. But like I mentioned with Alistair or Shepard, it's just such a, a huge cost. So I'm just going to submit this and hopefully win the next two. All right, game two on the play. So we can lightning bolt a collector roof. I don't hate that. We'll keep. Okay, they're on five cards. 
Seagate Reborn into Ponder. Oh, I forgot that I left him Brainstorm. Uh, yeah, leaving Brainstorm is probably fine. The problem is that this doesn't do anything that we don't already do, so you're supposed to shuffle that. Okay. We'll pass. Bayou. And there's the Shepherd. Lotus Petal, that will be our red source for the third path Iconoclast. Bobble. Okay. Opal. And that actually enables Metalcraft, so now I'm going to Brainstorm. And I'm not going to play Emery this turn. Then I'll put Bolt on top. Lotus Petal. Bobble. Lions of Diamond. Where's this Bobble you? Where's this Bobble you? Pass the turn. This way I have Lightning Bolt up for a turn 2 collector oof. Misty Rainforest. And there's the oof. We will float a red. Lightning Bolt the oof. Okay. Ponder. Okay. I think we want to draw the Thought Cast here. Play the Thought Cast. Pedal. Swing 7. They take it. Pass the turn. Hierarch, sure. And another Hierarch. Okay, let's just swing out. Swing better, better. Okay. Play another one. Pass the turn. Hey, we've gotten our second game win. Let's get one more, so that way we don't 0-4 this league. On the play. Or on the draw. What are words? Okay, so game three, we're on the draw versus the Collector Oof deck, and we have double Lightning Bolt. The problem is the rest of the hand actually doesn't function. I'm going to begrudgingly mulligan. Okay, I guess we keep this. Bottom the ponder. They've gone to five. Windswept Heath. Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. I believe that gives us a turn one. Chrome Mox. Imprint this Thought Cast. Lotus Petal. Mox Opal. Lines of Diamond. Goblin Charbelcher. Activate target you. Hey, we got a match win. One and three. You'll love to see it. Boom. All right, let's win match number five and get 50 play points back. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final match, we are on the play. Uh, I guess so, sure. Keep. Volcanic Island into Ponder. That's uh, a lot of Force of Wills, and our opponent usually plays Show and Tell, so... Kind of tempted to keep this. We do need to find one more uh, Mana Source if we want to use Belcher to kill our opponent. Let's brainstorm, see if we can find anything good. No is the answer. Okay, uh, let's hide the Belcher then. Seven cards past the turn. Volcanic Island. Chrome Mox. And print the third path, and then we'll pass. And step Brainstorm. And then they fetch in their upkeep. Okay, it looks like they might not be on Sneak and Show. Or, what do I know? Attempt to Brainstorm in response. Can I find the third mana source? There we go. Goblin Charbelcher. <laughs> Sure. I mean, I wish that this was a land, but it'll have to do. Main deck Valo Summer. They play out the Lotus Petal. They selected Scalding Turn, Ponder, Forcible, Lotus Petal, and Omniscience. Another copy of Lotus Petal. They discard Sneak Attack. Unfortunately, it's not a land. And that just resolved. Okay. You didn't want to Force of Will the third mana source? Activate. And that got the job done. Sweet. We have taken game number one from Sneak and Show. Definitely want these Force of Negations. The Fluster. A Hydro. 
surgicals. I think you're just supposed to board out the thought monitors in this matchup. Like, they're not a card we're really looking to play. Get rid of the brainstorms. Those things are terrible here. Resubmit. Game two, we're on the draw. This hand doesn't play magic, so we're going to ship it. This technically plays magic, but I don't know if it's the kind of magic we want to be playing. Let's keep. I think that we shouldn't just aggressively mulligan every hand looking for something fast, where they might be keeping a hand that is looking to play a game against us where they stop us from winning, and that this hand beats those. So that's what I'm going to go for here. Okay. Another Seagate was not a good draw. Okay. Volcanic Island, Lotus Petal, and then we'll play a third path. Sacrifice the Petal. Here we go. It resolves. Unfortunately, the rest of our hand doesn't do anything meaningful. They have five in hand. Another land. Awkward. Swing better, better. Swing. We'll play a Shatter Skull. Ouch. Third path. They brainstorm in response. Cool. Okay. Are we dead? Ancient Tomb. That's a sneak attack. Okay. Atroxa. Triggers. Lotus Petal. Emrakul. I'm good to pick that up there. We got smushed. Submit. Okay. Game three, we're on the play. I guess so. I mean, I don't know. Bobble. Bobble. We'll play this. Emery. Mills 4. Not very good. And then, just in case they have a fast show and tell, we want to bobble immediately to see if we can draw a Belcher. Okay. They're passing with a Scalding Tarn. Draw for turn. Another Seagate, we'll play that. Let's play another Emery. We'll keep the original. Mill 4. There's a Belcher. Play the Lotus Petal. We can just put our opponent on, like, Force Check every turn at this point. Belcher. Can't Fluster Storm, you can't Pyroblast. It needs to be a Force of Will or Force of Negation. Belcher. And it resolves! Activate, target you. We did it. We did it. We went two and three. We got 50 play points back. Sweet. Okay. I mean, that was a little rough in the beginning there, but we made a slight comeback. So my honest assessment, and I mean no shade by this, I would never play this deck again. Uh, I don't think it's particularly good. No offense to Tony Scaponi, but this deck is... Not great. I think there's a lot of friction in the deck. Brainstorm isn't very good. It's really, really difficult to cast Thought Monitors. And I don't see the reward for playing Belcher compared to something like playing 8-cast. You could play Third Path in an Echo Shell with Gambles and Lion's Eye Diamonds and stuff, and I think it would just be much better than trying to make Goblin Char Belcher work. Uh, that's my two cents. Uh, thank you to Sean Dignan for submitting this deck and supporting the channel. I'm sorry that this league was a little bit ugly, and I'm sorry that I don't love the deck, but I just think the deck is kind of flawed, if I'm being honest. And it's not a knock at Tony. Tony does great work, comes up with a lot of sweet brews, and some particularly good decks. The Epic Gamble, uh, Black Saga Storm, but I just think that this deck is a little bit of a miss for me personally. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day, and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.